Hey guys, my name is Michelle and I am the owner of Lily Rose Craft Room. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. If you love crafting tutorials, reviews, tips and tricks, then make sure you're subscribed to my channel and tap the bell to be notified when videos are posted. For today's video, we are going to be making the Hocus Pocus Black Flame Candle, but with the twist, we're going to make it look super, super distressed. So if you're ready, let's get right onto the video. All the products that I use, I will be linking them down in the description below. And if I happen to forget some, please let me know so I can add them. So to start off, I am using a hog 20 ounce tumbler and I prepped this outside. I sanded it and then I spray painted it. And then now I am applying Mod Podge to adhere the glitter to the tumbler. So the one that I'm using is the yellow one. It's the matte Mod Podge. Um, I've used a gloss one and then the dishwasher one, so I really don't think um, it makes a difference. I haven't noticed a difference, but for this video, I am using the matte one, which is the yellow bottle. I'm using a wide paintbrush to apply the Mod Podge, and I highly recommend a thin layer because if you do a thick layer, it's going to take a very long time to dry. And then also when you put that glitter on, it's going to be heavy. And once you turn it upside down, it's going to run. So I highly recommend a thin, even layer throughout the cup. All right. So after you have your Mod Podge all over the cup, we're going to be applying the glitter. This glitter that I'm going to be using is called Fizzy. And you can find it on my website at lilyrosecraftroom.com. And this white glitter is like super pretty. It's not your average white glitter with the iridescent colors. This only has blue tones to it and it's super, super pretty. And you wanna make sure you get all that glitter all over the cup quick because the Mod Podge does dry fast when it's a thin layer. And after I was done applying the glitter, I did take it outside and I gave it a good spray with a clear Rust-Oleum just to seal in all that glitter before the epoxy. This is my favorite epoxy to use, the Alumalite Quick Coat, because it is dry to the touch in about four hours, so you can move on to the second step. I do have a, an affiliate code. It's in the description below. It's code LILY10, and if you use that, you do get 10% off, so make sure you use that code when you shop to get your discount. So with the epoxy, you just want to rub it all over the cup. Make sure you get all the spaces. And after I'm done applying my epoxy, I go over it with a heat torch, as you can see on the top, and it pops all the micro bubbles. So this is about four hours later, and we're going to give the tumbler a second coat of epoxy. And I use the same amount. I use a total of 20 ml of the Alumalite quick coat of epoxy. So I'm just going to blow right past this step because we're applying it the same way as we did the previous step. All right, so this is the next day. I am going to sand it. The middle of the cup is smooth, but the top and the bottom are rough. So I am only going to be sanding the top and the bottom. We're not going to be sanding the center of the cup. We're only going to be doing the edges because we're doing kind of like a peekaboo effect to it. So if you sand it and spray paint over it like how we are, you're going to be able to see all those scratch marks. So make sure you're only going to be sanding the top and the bottom do not sand the middle. After the cup is sanded, I made sure to clean up the cup to clean up all that sanding debris. And now we're gonna be moving on to the drip part. So to make the candle drip effect, we're gonna be using a hot glue gun. So with the hot glue gun, you're just gonna go around the cup and then you're just gonna just manually make your drips because it's not gonna drip very far because the hot glue gun dries really quick. So go ahead and just make your own drips. And um, basically with this, you just gotta trust the process because at first it's gonna look like, uh, what the heck is going on? But um, just keep making your drips, working it around, and it's gonna, it's gonna come out nice. You just gotta trust the process. After you're done making your drips, you wanna take a heat gun and just give it a couple passes along the, your dripped glue. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna melt those stringy pieces that you know you get when you're using your glue gun. So it's just gonna melt all that off so it can look clean. So once I was done making the glue drips, I took it outside and I'm gonna spray it with a black spray paint first and I'm gonna get all that covered. And then I'm gonna go in with the white spray paint. 
So what this does is when you take the acetone and you make off like um, you take off the pieces for the distressed look, you're going to be able to see the black underneath it and it's just going to look like super old and super rustic. So this is why we do the black layer first. Okay, so now for the fun part, we're going to be using a combination of pure acetone and alcohol to make the cup as ugly and old as possible. So before I did that, I just aligned where my decal is going to be and I made a little mark so I know that, okay, it's going to be right here so I don't have to put so much distress on that section because it's going to be covered up anyways. So I'm just going to use a rag and then we're going to put some acetone on it. And then with my finger, I'm just going to rub around it. The goal is to take off the white and the black spray paint. And then right after, we're going to clean it up with some alcohol. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up that window so we can see the shine of the glitter. And then we're just going to do this like all around the cup. So you can do like big distress or little distress. You can go in and like edit it a little bit like how I'm doing here. But um, just go around the cup doing the same exact thing. The acetone is to strip away that spray paint and then the alcohol is just to clean up that area. And see how it gives it like a black line because of that spray paint. So that's the reason we do the double layers so it can look, you know, give it that distressed look. So I'm going to fast forward this part a little bit faster, but we're just going to do the exact same thing. Some acetone, scrape away, and then clean it up with the alcohol. And then you're really going to have to put like your elbow in this because to clean up the, like the acetone, I really had to like scrape away really good with the alcohol. So, um... Yeah, it did take me uh, probably like a good 45 minutes to be doing this. I also took the acetone and the rag and I just like kind of rubbed it around the the candle drips just so it can look like if it was burned, I gave it a little black to it. So yeah, your goal is just, you know, to make it as old as possible. And then you just want to do this all over the cup around and around and then just clean it up. And this project is, like I said, it's a trust the process type of project because i mean i kept overthinking it like does it look good does it not should i add more like what should i do but um yeah trust the process with this because i'm telling you the outcome looks amazing and after i was done making those glitter windows i just went around the cup and just like kind of made it look dirty i just scraped a little bit of acetone just to expose some of like the black spray paint underneath and um, I also did it to the label a little bit just so it could look old. And then after that, we're going to be moving on to the epoxy. Okay, so for this layer, I am going to give it only 10 ml of epoxy. So 5 of part A and 5 of part B. And then I'm going to sprinkle in just a little scoop of my glitter. It's called Twilight. This is a micro fine glitter. And just so it can give like the whole entire cup a good shimmer. Next, I'm going to add only two drops of this Brea Reese alcohol ink. And it's the color brown. And this is just going to tint the cup, kind of give it like a brownish, yellowish um, color tone. So I did only two drops. And I'm going to make sure that's mixed really, really well. And then to apply this, we're going to just use our gloved finger. And we are going to just apply it just like that. So just rub it around the sections, make sure it really goes into the candle drips because we want it like on the insides of the candle drips, the sides, and you know, we want it in all those nooks and crannies. And this just color makes it look like, you know, it's an old candle from 1693. <laughs> I really love how this cup is just like perfectly imperfect. And these cups, like the beauty of this is just like, they're one of a kind because there there is no way I'm going to be able to make one the exact same way. So these are one of a kind pieces of art that are just beautifully imperfect. And then right after I was done applying this layer, I did go over it with the heat torch just to pop any micro bubbles that were like stuck in those nooks and crannies. And then about four hours later, we're going to be going in with the last and the final layer of epoxy. I'm using a total of 10 mLs for this layer. And then just like before, we're just going to rub this all over the cup. Make sure it's all in those little nooks and crannies. Make sure you get it all over the cup and we'll be done after that. Okay, and like always, here is the finished look. 
Look how beautifully this cup came out. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. I love how like in those little areas of the drip, like it looks darker. It just looks really old and rustic. And that was the goal that we were going for. And we, we got it, we achieved it. And I know for a fact this looks like a candle because before I did like any of the decals or anything, I asked my daughter, what does this look like? And she said, a candle. So I'm like, yes, okay. <laughs> All right, so if you stayed throughout the whole entire video, I wanna say thank you so much. Show me by putting a black heart and a flame candle. If you like this video and if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button because it really helps my channel grow. Thank you so much for being here watching my video. I will see you on the next one. Bye.